Hi everyone, it's Liesl. I'm back to show you my July Tsunami Rose Design Team project. This month I worked with Daisy Sewing Printables and made this really cute tiny little journal which is four inches across and five and a quarter inches high. The size was determined by some of the printables that I used to put in my signatures and I will explain shortly. The cover has a one and a half inch spine with five signatures and was made using cereal box which is quite nice and firm now but still soft enough that you can squish it if you like uh, and covered with packing paper which was scrunched up and inked and then mod podged to seal it. And the image on the front cover and on the back actually come from two of Daisy's tags, which I enlarged slightly and trimmed to put them on the outside cover. Going in, I used um, three sheets of digital paper. They come in a set together and they called Rose Digital Paper So Cute Set Number 3. And you'll find all of these printables under the... I think it's called Sewing Art or the Sewing Heading in on Daisy's shop on Etsy. Um, but the three pages print out just sort of with, for me, with a slight border on an A4 sheet of paper. And I cut them up to use various pieces. Here is a, which I just found, a little off cut, which I haven't used, which I'll probably just ink and tea dye and tuck in as a little extra card somewhere. Um, but the pages have, you can see it's part of the same same page. This was somewhere else this way or there. Um, and you, the wonderful thing about these pages is you can really cut them up and use them for various things, which is what I did when I made this journal. <coughs> Excuse me. The size of the journal, as I said, was determined by some of the printables. And what I use is there isn't a specific sewing themed kit in Daisy's shop. But what she has is big elements printables and I used the sewing art print big elements number one and 11 to make the signatures in this little journal. And when they print out four cards to a page, I just cut the page in half and folded the two halves um, double to make signatures. So you will see that this is the other side of that. This was a plain card for journaling, or and this is the other side. So that is what I did, and that's how I decided on the size for the journal. And these images are just so lovely. And again, there's some tea staining, and huh, again, please don't faint, more lace. Um, this is one of the other digital paper pages, which I cut up to make a little pocket. And then I used some of my oven dried red tea pages, which when they lie on top of each other, as you might have seen in the tutorial that I did on it, makes lines. And there's this really cute little hook and eye stamp that I've got. And I just use them to hold the page together. So on the other side is more of the same. This is again a piece of the digital paper kit and a little scissors and here is a little packet and again this is a piece from one of the digital pages the three that she has together and I just decorated this little packet and that would be perfect for buttons a bit of trim that needs to be kept or just any other keepsake I mean just because it's a sewing theme journal doesn't mean it needs to be used for sewing so some journal space, a little file folder with another bit of the digital page cut up. There is some more inked. And I have, I don't know why, but I have so many sewing themed stamps that it was such a treat to be able to use them because I never use them. I've only made one sewing journal before. Um, and at the time, I, isn't that pretty? I also really enjoyed using them. And it's probably been three or four years since I've made a sewing theme journal. So this was really fun. So here I made a, a page in the signature from one of the pieces of digital paper that Daisy has. 
and this pocket also comes from the same paper that I used to make that pocket there. And this is one of the lovely tags. These are all needles. And it was one of these that I enlarged. You can see I enlarged it quite a bit to put it on the cover. I like to try and find as many uses for what I have as possible. Uh, this is one of Daisy's floral ephemera bits, which I fussy cut and inked and glued to the page just to give it a bit of decoration and color. This is the image there you can see. And it enlarged so beautifully. Um, I didn't have to do anything. I just enlarged it. I didn't fiddle with the image or anything. And that is how nicely it printed, even though it was enlarged quite a bit. Right. On the page on the right here, I stamped some cross stitch to keep my page together. <laughs> um, and I did it all the same on the other. This is where the paper overlapped. So where it didn't overlap, it dries darker in the oven than where it overlaps. And here is a little button. And this is also part of one of the, let me just take the this off there. This is also part of one of the pages and it was, it's on the side and I just trimmed it off and it actually makes a really nice piece for some, for a list or something like that. So here's the center of the second signature, uh, all the workings and how it's kept together inside there and another one of the really pretty tags. And some zigzag and straight stitch here. Here is the same image, and he, you can see here the difference that a bit of tea dyeing makes to the page. This is what it prints out as, and this is what it looks like when I have dyed it with red tea and inked the edges with some vintage photo. That also is some red tea that made a really nice little splotch there. So as you can see, lots of space for journaling and for gluing in any bits that you might want to keep. This could quite easily be used for sewing notes, measurements, all kinds of things like that. Some more of those little hook and eyes. Um, but at the same time, it really fits in so easily into a little handbag with a little hanger. It would fit really easily into a handbag to be carried around with you to keep notes, another bit of Daisy's ephemera that was cut out, inked and glued onto the page. And here is an envelope which I made on my punch board with some paper that I wasn't going to use for anything else. And I've kept it open so that there's lots of space for journaling or if one would want to, that's just a off cut from one of Daisy's pages, or one could quite easily glue it and use it as an envelope. And a tuck and a really pretty image. And then our pocket with one of the pretty tags. They're quite nicely grunged up already, but you can see that I couldn't resist giving them a bit of tea treatment anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat today. Um, some beautiful yellow roses which go very nicely with all the designs and an old sewing machine put a place. Another tuck. Some more cross stitch, holding my page together. And here is just a little hand which says handmade, which I thought goes rather well with a sewing theme journal. This is, oh, let me just take it up before I tear it. This is a little memo page, which is probably about 40 years old, and I attached uh, a, vellum, uh, a vellum sticker. Yes, I have some vellum stickers with flowers, and it actually looks rather nice, being clear and um, letting the image behind shine through. So that's that, and another bit of fussy cutting here. 
the middle of the third signature. No, I lie. The, sec the second last, the fourth. Okay. Bit of cross stitch and beautiful roses, really, really pretty. And the tea dye, just adding a bit of extra texture to the page. There you go. All right, and this is the last signature. Pocket. And what do we have here? A little dress hanging from the paper clip. And another one of these packets. And of course, lots of stamping throughout, and the usual um, vintage photo around all the edges. I have come to the conclusion that that's why I'm so slow in making journals. <laughs> it's because of all the edges that I insist on inking, and they take another bit of ephemera. They take forever to do, but it always feels to me that it is so worthwhile. So I can't stop myself, and I always do it. And that is the back inside cover and this is the little journal it's really cute and I have truly enjoyed making it it's been surprisingly fun to make a sewing journal I don't sew I did when I was much younger but I haven't sewn in probably 20 years so it was quite nice to have a bit of a trip down memory lane and to make this and uh, to see how I could use what essentially wasn't a kit at all to turn it into a coherent journal so if you have any questions and there's anything you would like to discuss with me or ask or say, please pop a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching and until we speak again. Bye-bye.